As we move into our last objectives of our eighth grade year, we are going to construct the plans for a pinata. Before moving on to high school, you will need to be able to demonstrate that you can use the formulas to find the volume and surface areas of cylinders, cones, and spheres. To be able to do this, you will just need to understand vocabulary such as pi, diameter, radius, height, and slant height. You will also need to plug in values to a formula and then following the order of operations, simply calculate on a calculator to find the answer. While we are learning some new material, you may have noticed that everything needed to learn these new concepts is actually review. For this project, you can move at your own pace or follow the daily suggestions listed on Google Classroom. Daily videos will be included or you can always refer to the Padlet where all the resources will be in one place. It might be a good idea to keep a tab open for the Padlet just in case you need to quickly look something up. So the first thing after we learn how to sketch 3D figures will be to create your own sketch for the pinata that you want to design. Here is my sketch for my pig. I created my sketch before I gathered my supplies. Once I had my supplies gathered, I was then able to measure the needed dimensions and included them in my sketch. If you don't have the supplies, or you are not planning on actually making the pinata, you can just create your own dimensions. The sketch with dimensions will be the first thing to return to me for feedback. At this point, we've got some learning to do before we can continue. Again, check Google Classroom for daily lesson targets or start learning the material at your own pace by using the resources on the Padlet. Once you have learned all the formulas, you can then find the volumes and the surface area of your project. These calculations will be needed to be included on your engineering page. Please make sure to organize your work and include all labels, dimensions, and formulas. For example, I would have to include the head, two ears, and snout to find the volumes and surface areas for my pig. I might organize it something like this. The engineering part, or the calculations, is the second required item of the project. Now, creating your pinata is totally optional. It might depend on if you have any spheres, cones, or cylinders lying around your house. I found an old beach ball, some snow cone cups, and a toilet paper roll for my creation. Other things you might have would be balloons, an old ball, paper towel, or wrapping paper tubes. Cones might be a little harder to find, but you can always Google how to make a cone and create your own. Once I had everything gathered, I taped it together to hold it in place when I started paper mache -ing. Using the paper mache recipe, recipe included in the pinata introduction, all you really need is flour and hot water, I started applying strips of newspaper around and around my pinata. It takes a little while for it to dry, so be patient. And because we didn't have a lot of paint to choose from around here, my pig turned out purple instead of pink.